Okay, Doc, uh, we're out of the hospital again. I had to get you out because you've been very busy because we're oh, getting ready for our next procedure. Let's talk about this because this is a lot different than what we've done in the past, the last three. This one's very important because it's affecting younger people. It's incredibly, incredibly important. You know, uh, first, uh, the, the COVID numbers are, are way down in the state. We've really gotten on the other side of that. And, um, and, and that has been, uh, sometimes when we're doing these procedures or trying to schedule patients, that's been a distraction. And so it's, it's good to, get, to be getting past that so we can really put our focus on patients like this, this, uh, young, uh, this young man who we're gonna be operating on uh, uh, you know, during the procedure next week. Um, this is different, as you put it, um, in that uh, so many of the disease processes we see are in the elderly. They develop these disease processes as they go along. This is a disorder uh, that this patient was born with. This is what we call a congenital disorder, but this young man did not uh, understand that he had this disease until he had a stroke years later. So. Um, this is going to be very different, and uh, when we look at the images that Dr. Burke is going to provide us, it's going to look very different. It's not the big, juicy target that you see with some of those other valve abnormalities or either or even some of the stent procedures. This is very different. Yeah, um, and the way this is working is that we're actually going to be closing a hole. We're going to be closing a hole. Uh, Dr. Burke will identify a hole on uh, on uh, ultrasound. We will then look at that uh, hole on, on x-ray or fluoroscopy, and then we're going to take what is almost, you can think of as like a clamshell or a two-sided umbrella and put it around that hole so that the clot that passed through his heart and caused a stroke will never be able to pass through that hole again. Yeah. And I will say, you really want to watch this one because we're going to get some history. We're going to learn how this almost didn't happen to have this type of uh, procedure done. I, I loved watching your expression as you learned about all of the the heartburn uh, in getting this approved by the FDA, and it almost wasn't approved by the FDA because some of the science and early studies weren't clear that this helps these patients. Yeah, and, and you're gonna definitely wanna make sure you pay attention to, especially if you are younger and you are seeing yourself having strokes, because sometimes, you know, doctors might not see it the way that other doctors do, and that's one thing we're educating on this too, because, you know, you're thinking someone who's in their 30s having a stroke, you're it's more just, thinking of a stress or yeah, whatever like, like that, you never think that they have a hole in their heart. It, it, what 30-year-old worries about a stroke? But when it occurs, it totally changes their life. Yeah. It changes their life forever. And when we see, when Dr. Burke and I see a 30-year-old who has a stroke, this is the first thing we think about. So it's amazing. Well, it is our fourth Emmy Award winning procedure that we're doing uh, next week, March 14th. You have to tune into it. It's at 8 a.m. right here on AZTV 7 and it's live and you will learn a lot. Um, and I love this doctor because I'm learning more and what's helped me I'm taking care of myself and I'm taking care of friends too after watching this. This is so, contagious, isn't it? And it's amazing. So it's so great. So it's it's heartful, heart filling. Yes. Yeah, like great. that. There, there you go. So doc, let's go do it.